Long Islanders gathering tonight to remember those lost in 9-11. The names of heroes tonight added to a memorial in Nassau. News 12's Kevin Vesey was at that ceremony and joins us now from Tobe Beach. Kevin, good evening. Yeah, good evening, Joe. This really was an emotional ceremony that's become an annual tradition here at Tobey Beach. So this section of the beach was completely filled with the families of 9-11 victims and also with people from the town who just want to remember those people and remember what happened 21 years ago. You can see that they left these flowers and American flags here at the base of this wall. This is the uh, Walls of Honor, which is made to which was made to recognize people who lost their lives from 9-11 related illnesses. And tragically, three new names were added to that wall this year. It's a tradition 21 years in the making. Each September, as the sun goes down, they gather at Tobey Beach, lighting candles, comforting one another, and most importantly, remembering the victims of 9-11. Yvonne Bonomo, Nancy Boucher. Rosemary Kane helped read aloud the names of those who died at the Twin Towers, including her son, FDNY firefighter George Kane. God bless every one of you. I pray for you to have a happy and a peaceful anniversary, and God bless the one that you lost. Names of those who died of 9-11 illnesses were also spoken, including three new additions to the list. Gerard F. Erickson, Erwin Jimmy Reich, and my mother, Arlene Zuzola. Stephen and Sharon Fusco's son Scott was an NYPD officer who worked the pile at Ground Zero. Two years later, he died in his sleep from 9-11 related brain cancer. He was just 25. This ceremony helps his grieving parents know his sacrifice will never be forgotten. It's good to keep our son's memory alive. He's always alive. But I guess more so, you know, on September 11th, you know, we think about it. And, uh, more mournful sort of way. It is so important to honor those we lost on that fateful day and those we've lost to 9-11 related diseases in the town of Oyster Bay. We will never forget. And you just saw the tribute in light that was shining here tonight. Two blue beams going up into the sky meant to represent the Twin Towers and of course remind everyone of that horrific day nearly 21 years ago. Joe.